Hey guys, Sam here with another India travel video. Today we're going to be taking you on the ultimate food tour here in Bangalore for a day of non-stop eating with our friends Anish Wara and Abhishek. With their time in the city winding down, we set out to eat our way through some of the best food places in Bangalore, and boy was it good. In this episode, we'll try chow chow bad and doses for breakfast, banana leaf tally for lunch, and then for dinner we'll make our way to Fraser Town where we'll sample chicken shawarma, butter chicken, and grilled chicken before ending things off with lemon chai and an ice cream dessert called Death by Chocolate. This is going to be another mouth-watering episode, so let's get started. Good morning, good morning guys. Greetings from Bengaluru, India. Today we're hungry and we brought our appetites. We're gonna be having South Indian breakfast at an institution behind us. So it's basically called CTR and also known as the Saga. Yeah. It's one of the most sought after tiffin rooms in the city. And people have been coming here for years. And so popular that people come from over 50 kilometers just to have the breakfast. So we're here today to check out their dosa, their uh, kesri bath, their kara bath, and their coffee. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. All right, it's show time. We waited about 15 minutes. Now we got a table. Hi. You guys got a table. Hi. The British Masala Dosa here. Another day, another delicious South Indian breakfast. I'm so excited for this. We've ordered a whole bunch of different things, but the first two dishes have arrived. We kicked off breakfast with chow chow bad, which is a combination of two semolina dishes. We had kesari bad, which is the sweet version with various spices and dried fruits, and karabad, which is the savory version with chili, curry leaves, and coconut chutney for extra spice. So you got your sweet over here and you got your spicy over there. When you mix them together, you get a chow chow bad. Chow chow bad. Uh, I can't wait for you to try the combination as well. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's dig in. Mm. Oh my gosh. Our coconut chutney is incredible. Yeah. It's so rich and spicy. And then the consistency of this, it's like a savory polenta kind of. It has a, a mushy mash consistency. Yeah. All right, shall we try the sweet one too? Let's go for the next one. Okay. I see a, a big piece of fruit. Raisin. Yeah. Try that. The raisin right there. Wow. Look at the raisins. Oh. That's like a, almost like a dessert. Yeah. It's delicious. Oh my gosh, I love this. I absolutely love this. And we still have a doses to come. Yes. Then it was time for doses. The dosa had a nice crispy golden brown exterior and it was very spongy and fluffy on the inside. It was stuffed with potato masala with chili, shallots and curry leaves. This was paired with a coconut chutney and a spicier chili mint coconut chutney. It was quite similar to the previous day's breakfast but also unique since every restaurant gives this dish its own twist. So the star of the show has arrived. The main event for breakfast here, we have two different kinds of dosas. So what what kind did you get? So I just went for the regular plain beni dosa. Okay. And uh, yours is the beni masala. The beni masala. You open it, you have the potato. Let's, let's lift the hood here. Yeah, there you go. Oh wow, and look you at have that. the potato right there and you can see how crispy and yep. dense it is around. It's very crispy and dense. Yeah. Like when you're touching it, you can actually hear the crunch yeah, of the crispiness. Yeah. We've been having amazing doses on this trip to India. Like it changed my opinion of what my favorite breakfast is in India. It's, it's not paratha or something, it's yeah, dosa. dosa. Absolutely, hands down. Grabbing some of this with the coconut. Oh my god. How could something taste that good? David, what are we gonna do when we can't have dosa anymore? Luckily, I know a few Indian restaurants in Miami that do it for me. Oh. <laughs> and I'm just out of luck. No, <laughs> actually, where my, wife, where my wife is staying in Brampton is a big Indian population. Oh, so sweet. I'm gonna have to look for some doses there. Make some friends over there. Yeah. <laughs> Check out this line. This place is perpetually packed. There's always a line, There's oh, every table's full. And for good reason, the food is wonderful. After breakfast, we said goodbye to Abhishek and made plans to meet up again later for dinner. In the meantime, we met up with Anishwara and continued our food tour of Bangalore. So let's head to Church Street today for some good iced coffee yes. at Indian Coffee House. Sounds and great. 
yeah then let's figure out what to do from and then we'll figure out the rest yeah. of the day so walking down church street here it's a pretty posh area and there's a lot of restaurants a lot of greenery church street is located in bangalore central business district and it's a popular tourist spot given all the food options and shopping available plus it's also a nice place to walk around Dude, I'm getting a Marvel. I'm a huge Marvel fan. Look at that. That's Thanos right there. That's the, that's the that. gauntlet. Yeah. Infinity show, gauntlet. Show me right the shirt there. you got on right now. Nice, My favorite's dude. on the top. Thank Iron you. Man. <laughs> Yo, what'd you get? Nirvana. I've been wanting to get this shirt for a long time. This store is great, man. They've got all kinds of things. Aside from shirts and ball caps, they also have really cool figurines on that far end. I'm pumped, guys, because we're going for coffee. And if there's one thing that I've missed, not really having very often in India, is coffee. I've been drinking a lot of chai, which has been fantastic. But you know what? I do crave my coffee from time to time. Hot or cold coffee, friends? Cold. cold coffee. All the way. Sure. It's so hot outside. It's way too hot outside. 90 degrees. 30 degrees where I come from. Uh, my, if you touch my my beard, it's like soaked. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Super fast service. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Cheers. Let's try it. Mm. Oh my gosh! It's so good. So sugary. Milky. Cold. That's the most cold. freezing cold. That's the most important part. One go, 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 go. Chug, 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 and done. Oh, are you crazy? That's your second one. I know. Now it's perfect. I'm awake, ready to go. Having cooled off, we continued exploring Church Street and checked out some of the cool murals with street art you can find in the area. After a bit of walking, we were ready to eat again. This time we went to Nagarjuna, a restaurant specializing in Andhra cuisine. All good restaurants in India have what in common? A big queue. A big queue. The reason for that is because there's so many people in India. Yeah. All these cities are like 10 million people. Yeah. So the good restaurants, they're packed. Packed. Check out this. One of the coolest things about this restaurant is the menu is shaped like a banana leaf. Check that out. It's so cool. Open it up and here are some of the main meals that you can get served on a banana leaf. It was freaking hot. It was. How are you guys enjoying the AC in here? Oh, it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> we ordered a banana leaf tally with a whole bunch of different curries to try. To give you a little tour of the banana leaf, we had chicken nagarjuna with lots of spices, rice with ghee, dal with spinach, peanut chutney, sambal, rasam, papad, and more. Let's dig in. Okay. Look at this wonderful spread. So it's all here on the banana leaf. Like there's so much going on. It, I wouldn't say it's overwhelming, it's exciting. It's exciting. That's, That's what a I good one. Say. So, this is gunpowder. Oh, not yeah. gunpowder. Not gunpowder, gunpowder. Gun powder. So, you put it. Okay. Don't mix it with like all of your rice. So, I'm separating my rice. Make sure you have, a, you have ghee in that rice. I've got some ghee in there yeah. and just go to town, right? Mix it up. Yeah, your favorite part. <laughs> my favorite part. I feel like when you do this, you're like, you're earning your bite. Like, you're, you know, you're putting some work into it. Okay. It uh, give, gives, gives the rice some extra flavor and delayed onset of spice too. I like that. And that's that. a lot of ghee. Right? A lot of ghee. ghee delicious over here. <laughs> okay. Do you want to try the chicken? I Go do, for. I do. I'm going to bet that you're going to find it too spicy. But okay. <laughs> oh, that's great. Is it Smoked. spicy though? Not yet. Smoking on the outside. Tender. I wouldn't say it's that juicy. It has more of like that smoky tandoori taste. Okay, the spice is starting to hit. 
I always feel like I'm, I'm a little bit cocky. I'm like, oh, that's not so spicy. And then I have, by, by the second or third bite, I'm like, oh. Yeah, I've noticed that about you. Yep. That's rasam. That's going to be more soupy. More soupy. Okay. So, pour in just a little bit. Just a little bit this time. I went, I went overboard last yeah. time. Oh, I think I went overboard again. Oh my gosh. I just can't help it with the curries. <laughs> I spill them on the rice. It's kind of light. It's supposed to be kind of light. So as you start with the heavy stuff heavy? in the beginning of your meal, right. and then slowly, like it, it gets light, and then you cool down with curd rice. Oh, it, it's purely strategic. Yeah, it's oh, wow. very strategic. Okay. Mm. Yeah, you're right. That's very light. It does have taste, but it's not. Enough, it's not it doesn't strong. hit you. It doesn't hit you that hard. Yeah. So what? It, what exactly is inside? It, it has. It's basically rice pudding. Rice pudding. Yeah. It has like. Um, Cashews and Cashews. You know, some dry fruits. Okay, so it's and gonna be a little bit nutty and, and fruity. It's nutty and it's like creamy. It's Ooh, very creamy. I see a big cashew, very creamy. Oh yeah. And again, it's cooling it's cooling things down. Yeah. Our next stop that afternoon was Kabun Park to walk off that meal. Alright guys, so we've arrived at the next station. It was only one stop. It cost 10 rupees. Beautiful, beautiful system. It's brand new apparently. It's only been in operation for a short time. It actually reminded me of the SkyTrain in Bangkok. Beautiful, modern. Anyways, there was extremely tight security. When they saw that we had cameras, we had to go through security and basically sign something saying that we would keep our cameras in our bags. So we couldn't film any of the journey, unfortunately. But what I can tell you is that it's a great way to get around the city. As soon as you enter the park, you can see that they have a military jet on the right side and it seems to be like a well manicured path. So yeah, I'm not sure what we're gonna do, but uh, it's nice to be here. And you know this area, like yeah. this entire place, yeah. is usually the dog park on Sundays. So there's oh. like people with all their dogs coming here and yeah. like it's like a social dog event. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And yeah. you were so right about the temperature, so yeah. much cooler here. Yeah. I could just hang out here all day. Yeah, let's go check out the bamboo area. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Evening, we met up with Abhishek to go on a nighttime food tour of Fraser Town. So you know some great spots around here. What are we gonna have tonight? So we're gonna start off with some really nice beef rolls. Yep. Out here, and then we're gonna move on to trying uh, some butter chicken, yeah. some shawarmas, and then end with some chai. Oh my gosh, that sounds so delicious. Yeah. Let's stop talking. Let's start eating. Okay guys, I'm starting off with the chic samba roll and this is a behemoth of a wrap. Take a look at this thing. It is just absolutely jacked with ingredients. Wrapped in a roti roll. Oh yeah. If, if you've been craving meat, you gotta come here and try this. This is loaded with meat. So flavorful, also spicy, and the onions give it a little bit of juiciness too. The flatbread has been rolled around twice. It's so compact in every bite. Like if you're hungry and you can eat all of that, that's like a meal in your hand. It's so thick and big. Like just look at how much is inside of there. So we've been walking down the street for a little while and yeah, there's just so many options for food. It's the kind of place you don't want to fill up on your first bite because there's so many tasty treats on the street. And yeah, I think we're just gonna keep wandering and see what we can find. So we are going to Empire? Yeah. Empire is, is famous here in Bangalore and they've gone global. They have yeah. a restaurant in New York, Dubai. Here we're eating what? Butter chicken shawarma? Butter chicken shawarma, ghee rice. Ghee rice. Maybe some kebab. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, kebabs? Yeah. We're gonna go all out. Oh, we're gonna have a masambi juice. Oh, hold on a sec, how big is my stomach now? No. Yeah. <laughs> chicken shawarma?
here at Empire Restaurant. Uh, this place is very popular among Bangaloreans because all of us who go partying late at night look for place to eat. This is a spot. It's open late at night and it's very popular for their grilled chicken, their butter chicken, as well as their ghee rice and also their Mosambi juice which we have right here on our table. Alright, moment of truth guys. Look at all this wonderful food we have here. So, grilled chicken, that's ghee rice, butter chicken which is always a favorite. In fact, back home, that's probably the most common Indian dish you can find in Canada for instance. So I'm just going to serve myself up. Oh, look at those chunks of chicken in there. Wonderful butter. Ghee rice. So guys, this is why I'm getting fat in India. I've got, I'm eating a lot of things with butter and a lot of things with ghee. And I'm eating a lot of it, so. Giant piece of grilled chicken. Oh, and I almost forgot the drink. What's this one called? Masambi juice. Masambi juice, and that's sweet. Sweet lemon. Sweet lemon. Oh, oh man. That was awesome. Smoky, tender, full of flavors. A little bit spicy too. So tasty. All right. Moving on to the butter chicken. Try a bite of that. Oh my gosh, that sauce. The sauce is what always makes the butter chicken. Just a wonderful curry. So rich in flavor, a little bit spicy. The butter chicken was delicious. This dish consists of chicken in a mild curry sauce with tomato gravy, butter, and cream. It's very rich and it's a classic must-try dish in India. That would have been plenty for dinner, but our nighttime food tour still wasn't over. Next up, it was time for chai and dessert. We had a great time at Empire I'm and now where are we it. heading? So now we're off to a place called Taj Tea Stall. Uh, we're gonna have some really nice Soleimani, which translates to lemon chai. Oh wow, first right. time to try that, can't wait. Yes, let's go. Tea's arrived, it's piping hot. So we have a Soleimani chai over here, which actually is a lemon chai. Super sweet, oh, a little wonderful. bit of sourness to it, so let's go. Mm. Oh yeah, that's so sweet. That acidic touch to it, the citrusy touch to it. Okay, so I enjoyed the first chai so much, I decided to get the regular old chai. This milk base, it's got a lot of spices and stuff, so let's try that. Oh yeah, that's so good. And apparently a lot of people come here to grab a chai and just have a smoke break or something. Chai is life in India. Chai is life. And guess what? I think we have ice cream after this. Correct? Yes, we do. Oh. Bangalore's best. Oh wow, this is how it's changed over the years? Where's Bangalore Palace? I didn't see that. Wow. So we're ending things off with a sweet treat. We found some really good ice cream. Actually, this is called something special, isn't it? Yep. It's called the death by chocolate. <laughs> death by chocolate. And I guess if you can eat all of that, then maybe you will die. <laughs> There's a lot in it. Diabetes for sure. Diabetes at least. Got all of that? Oh, yeah. Mm. oh yeah. Wow, it's like a brownie mm -hmm. with nuts and honey and chocolate sauce and ice cream. There's a lot going on. Yeah, and then you have the cherry there. And then you have the cherry. If I didn't have dinner, I think I could probably eat it. Eat this, yeah. yeah. But not th not this stage. It's still it like overwhelming. It's too yeah. much. I can have a few more bites though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is comfort food for half of the Bangaloreans out here. Yeah. Legit after exams, students just flock around here to have some of this. Is, is this a famous chain or just one store? It's a famous chain. Famous chain. So this is in Fraserdown. Yeah. The original one is out where you're listening, very close to where you're listening. Oh wow. Alright, so <laughs> wonderful ice cream to finish things off. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to follow my friend Shakezilla on Instagram Thank for you. some delicious food adventures. Yes. David behind the camera, David's been here, and our channel Samuel and Audrey. And we'll see you with more food and travel adventures in India soon. Ciao.